From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. In Brazil's largest city, Sao Paulo, a crowd celebrates the 18th LGBT Pride Parade. Heterosexuals, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people come to enjoy themselves, to protest against homophobia, and in favor of providing civil rights to transgender people. A few days before, Brazilian pop star and UN advocate Daniela Mercury launched Free and Equal, an unprecedented United Nations public education campaign on LGBT human rights issues. Recently, Daniela publicly announced her lesbian marriage, becoming the most visible face to support messages to raise awareness on violence and discrimination against transgender people. O Brasil tem uma questão fundamental. É um dos países onde mais pessoas sofrem violência física e são assassinadas por homofobia. Bruna Valim knows their suffering. She fled domestic violence when she was 14 years old. These days, Bruna is a human rights activist working with an organization whose goal is to help transgender people gain access to services such as health care and social counseling. For 22 years, Bruna was a prostitute. She lost many friends, partners due to violence and disease. Today, she is HIV positive. I lost a friend on my side. O cara chegou na rua com outro amigo com, do lado, né, ele e o passageiro, e ele já chegou dizendo, ah, esses viados, bando de traveco, vamos matar esses viados. E começou a atirar. Pegou na minha amiga. Muita sorte minha que não pegou em mim, eu corri muito. E realmente ele tinha acertado ela, ele tinha matado a minha amiga. Bruna and Wellington have been together for almost three years. And like Bruna, Wellington fled home at a young age, experienced alcoholism, drugs, and prostitution. He spent nine years in jail after his partner stole a watch from a client. But now he lives a different life. Eu me regenerei, né? Fui saindo da vida, né? Da outra vida. Agora eu tô com a vida mais digna, né? Vamos dizer assim. The couple is now concerned about protecting Wellington from contracting the HIV virus. Another concern is acceptance by their families. When Bruna's father died, she began to reconcile with her mother and brothers. As irmãs dela chamam de cunhado, entendeu? A mãe dela gosta de mim pra caramba também. And with her family's acceptance, Bruna plans to undergo a sex change operation. Once she completes the surgery, she will gain legal status as a woman and will be permitted to marry. In Brazil, not everyone supports this type of union, says Congressman Jean Willich. Então, embora essas pessoas existam, elas estão nas ruas, elas são marginalizadas, elas são mortas. É, em decorrência do que elas são, apesar delas existirem, há pessoas que querem negar a existência delas também no texto da lei e negá-las enquanto, enquanto conceito. Deputy Regional Representative of the Office of the High Commissioner of Human Rights, Humberto Henderson agrees that transgender people have rights too. It's very important to be treated like human beings. We are all different. That is fantastic for humankind. It's fantastic for the life. And obviously, the most difficult is to change the consciousness of people, but it will come. Now, Bruna, who survived life on the streets, is proud to tell the world her story. And with Daniela's work to protect transgender people, Bruna now knows that she's not alone. This report was produced by Felipe Sistone for the United Nations.